Hello, this is Abraham from EasyAutoDiagnostics.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to test a fuel pump with a fuel pressure test gauge on the 1997 through 2001 2.0 Honda CRV. Testing the fuel pump simply involves connecting a fuel pressure tester to the fuel filter. Besides the fuel pressure test gauge, I'll need a special adapter to be able to connect the fuel pressure test gauge to the fuel filter. Now, if you don't have a fuel pressure tester and the adapter, at the end of the video, I'll tell you more about the fuel pressure tester and adapter I'm using and where you can buy it. You can also check the links in the video description below. Besides the fuel pressure tester and the adapter, I'm going to use a few more tools. I'm going to use a 16mm 3.8 socket, a 17mm 3.8 socket, a 19mm wrench, and a ratchet. To get this show on the road, I'm going to start off by disconnecting the negative battery cable from the negative battery post. To connect the fuel pressure tester's adapter to the fuel filter, I need to remove its banjo bolt. There's a good chance that as I loosen the banjo bolt, fuel is going to spray out. So as a safety precaution, I'm wrapping the fuel filter with a shop towel before attempting to remove it. I'm going to use the 19mm wrench on the bottom of the fuel filter to counteract the twist of the ratchet as I loosen the fuel filter's banjo bolt. Now that the banjo bolt is loose, I'm removing the shop towel I've got wrapped around the fuel filter. There are two copper washers that seal the banjo bolt and the fuel line to the fuel filter. And as I remove the banjo bolt, I have to be careful that I don't drop them into the engine compartment. The first copper washer seals the banjo bolt to the fuel line, and here it is. The second copper washer is laying on the fuel filter, and it seals the fuel line to the fuel filter. I don't want to lose them, since I'm going to need them to connect the banjo bolt adapter to the fuel filter in my next step. Before I install the adapter, I'm going to install a copper washer on it. Once I have the adapter through the fuel line, I'm then going to install the second copper washer on the adapter. I recommend that you place a shop towel underneath the fuel filter to catch the washers in case they fall as you're installing the adapter. It's super important to first start the adapter by hand, and then use the ratchet and wrench to tighten it. I'm using a 19mm wrench on the bottom of the fuel filter, and a 16mm socket on the adapter to tighten it. Ok, moving on, I'm reconnecting the battery negative cable to the battery negative post. As a safety precaution, I'm going to crank the engine and check for fuel leaks around the adapter before I connect the fuel pressure test gauge to it. Once I have made certain that I don't have any gasoline leaking from around the adapter or the bottom of the fuel line, I'm going to connect my fuel pressure test gauge to the adapter. Now that I've got everything set up, my next step is to crank the engine and check the fuel pressure reading on the gauge. As I'm cranking the engine, the fuel pressure gauge should read between 40 to 47 psi. Since the fuel pressure specification is 40 to 47 psi on the 1997 through 2001 2.0 Honda CRV. Now, as you can see in my case, I have no fuel pressure. This test result lets me know that the fuel pump is not working and is behind this particular CRV not starting. I'll say it again. Since the fuel pressure test gauge read 0 psi, as I was cranking the engine, I can conclude that the fuel pump is not working and is behind the CRV's no start problem. Now, if the fuel pressure test gauge had read between 40 to 47 psi as I was cranking the engine, then I could have concluded that the fuel pump is doing its job and supplying fuel to the engine. Hey, thanks for watching, and if this video was helpful, give it a like. I'll be uploading short and to the point video tutorials on a regular basis that'll save you time and money, so be sure and subscribe to my channel. Be sure and visit my website and download and print my free fuel pump troubleshooting guide. You'll find tons of information and lots of tutorials there too. The link is in the video description below. Ok, now about the fuel pressure tester I'm using. The fuel pump pressure tester and banjo bolt adapter I'm using is part of a kit. This kit is the Actron CP7838 Professional Fuel Pressure Tester. I love this tool for two reasons. Number one, it's a sturdy tool made to last. And number two, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. In the video description below, 
I have included the links where you can buy it.